Hello friends, I welcome you in lecture number 34 on Laplace transform. In this lecture, we are going to discuss one another method for finding inverse Laplace transform. So first we understand what is that method. Uh, we are familiar with the formula of Laplace transform of integral of a function. Uh, we know that if Laplace transform of f of t is capital F of s then Laplace transform of integral of f of t or we can use dummy variable f of u du is given by capital F of s divided by s. We have discussed this formula while we were discussing Laplace transform. It is known as Laplace transform of integral of a function. Now we are going to reverse this formula. Instead of this we will write in this way. Suppose f of t is the inverse Laplace transform of capital F of s. Then if we are interested in the inverse Laplace transform of f of s divided by s then from this we obtain the formula for inverse Laplace transform of f divided by s and it is simply integral from 0 to t f of u du. So whenever our function capital F is divided by s we can use this formula. We just have to integrate inverse Laplace transform of capital F of s with respect to u from 0 to t. So whenever we have power of s or whenever we have this type of term 1 by s raised to something in the given function then we can apply this formula. So we understand this, for this method with one or two examples. Find the inverse Laplace transform of these two functions and uh, we start with first function first function is 1 divided by s times s square plus a square so this i can rewrite as in the denominator i write s and here i write 1 divided by s square plus a square so you can see if i consider f of s equal to 1 divided by s square plus a square then it is in this form L inverse of f of s divided by s. So to use this formula first we have to decide what is inverse Laplace transform of capital F of s and then we will integrate that inverse Laplace transform with respect to u from 0 to t. Here f of s is 1 divided by s square plus a square. So first we write down inverse Laplace transform of f of s which is inverse Laplace transform of 1 divided by s square plus a square and uh, we know that this is sin a t divided by a. So therefore inverse Laplace transform of f of s divided by s is equal to integral of this inverse Laplace transform of capital F of s and instead of using variable t uh, we are using another dummy variable say u if we wish we can write t also so here we have to just integrate this function with respect to u from u equal to 0 to t so you can now understand this um, formula whenever we have s in the division of some function say f of s or whenever we have this type of function f of s divided by s or s raised to some positive power then we can use this formula we have to find out inverse Laplace transform of capital f of s and we have to integrate that inverse Laplace transform with respect to u from 0 to t. So if you compare this function with f of s by s 
then here we find that f of s is 1 divided by s square plus a square so first we have obtained inverse Laplace transform of f of s and inverse Laplace transform of f of s divided by s is equal to integral of this function from 0 to t now this is equal to this 1 by a is constant integral of sine function is minus cos a into u divided by coefficient of u which is a and limits of u are from u equal to 0 to t this we can again rewrite as we can take minus 1 by a outside so we have minus 1 by a square and we write cos a u and then we will put limits u equal to 0 to t so first we take u equal to t minus 1 by a square if we take u equal to t we have cos a t minus u equal to 0 that is cos 0 which is 1 and we can take this negative sign inside the bracket and we rewrite this as 1 minus cos a t divided by a square so therefore we have obtained L inverse of 1 divided by s times s square plus a square equal to 1 minus cos a t divided by a square so this is another way of obtaining inverse Laplace transform of this type of function uh, we have discussed method of partial fractions to obtain inverse Laplace transform of this type of function suppose we want to use method of partial fractions then we have to write our function as sum of two partial fractions corresponding to s and s square plus a square for s square plus a square we will write b s plus c then we will find out values of a b c and we can obtain inverse Laplace transform so this is method of partial fractions and the same inverse Laplace transform can be obtained by this method also so we have two methods for obtaining inverse Laplace transform of this type of functions what we have done simply here is uh, we are integrating inverse Laplace transform of f of s okay, if you understand in this way first I, I have to write my function as f of s divided by s so you can see I am rewriting my function so here f of s is 1 divided by s square plus a square so by the formula here I am taking integral of inverse Laplace transform of 1 divided by s square plus a square with respect to u and this is sine a t divided by a and because we are using dummy variable we are considering sine a u divided by a so this is the brief uh, explanation what we have done here okay, we are using this notation otherwise it is very uh, fast to find out inverse Laplace transform okay fine so I hope you understand the method we can go for second example here power of s is 3 so if you can understand you can directly write down in this way as I have written here you can simply write down directly in this way or L inverse of this and in the next step I will consider integral here sin a t divided by a and we replace t by u sin a u divided by a integral with respect to u integral of sin a u is minus cos a u divided by a and there is already one a here so we write this u equal to 0 to t and first we put u equal to t so we have minus cos a t and minus minus plus cos 0 is 1 and 1 minus cos a t divided by a square is the answer so if you can understand you can directly write in this way also as I have written here 
you just have to remember the formula now we discuss second function in second function uh, we are having 1 over s cube into 1 by s square plus a square so because we have third power of s uh, we should integrate more than one time s cube times s square plus a square so first we uh, write this function as 1 s we write in the denominator and uh, here we write 1 by s square into s square plus a square so we will require inverse laplace transform of 1 by s square into s square plus a square so that we have to write as 1 by s square s square plus a square that i can write as s in the denominator and here i write 1 by s into s square plus a square so to obtain inverse laplace transform of this i require inverse laplace transform of 1 by s into s square plus a square and to obtain inverse laplace transform of 1 by s into s square plus a square we again have to write our function as 1 by s square plus a square divided by s so first we will find out inverse laplace transform of this which is required here and inverse laplace transform of this is required here so we start with uh, this function 1 divided by 1 divided by s times s square plus a square and we are interested in the inverse laplace transform so we have just obtained this in the first problem so i can directly write this is equal to integral from 0 to t l inverse of 1 divided by s square plus a square integral with respect to u this inverse laplace transform will be sin a t divided by a and we replace t by u so we have sin a u divided by a integral with respect to u now we integrate integral is minus cos a u divided by a a into a will be a square limits are from u equal to 0 to u equal to t and then we take u equal to t first so we have minus cos a t minus minus plus cos 0 is 1 and we have 1 minus cos a t divided by a square which is inverse laplace transform of 1 divided by s times s square plus a square so we give this number 1 and now we try to find out inverse laplace transform of 1 divided by s square into s square plus a square so again we have to write this as division by s so this i consider 1 by s s square plus a square divided by s so our f of s is now 1 by s into s square plus a square so we have to integrate inverse laplace transform of numerator which is 1 divided by s times s square plus a square with respect to u and we have obtained this in equation 1 we are having this so we consider instead of t we write u so we write 1 minus cos a u divided by a square so first we put value of this inverse laplace transform of this is 1 minus cos a into u divided by a square integral is with respect to u so this we have written using equation number one now we have to simply integrate this integral of uh, first we consider one by a square outside and integral of one with respect to u is u and integral of cos a u 
is sin a into u divided by coefficient of u which is a and the limits of u are from u equal to 0 to u equal to t so first we put u equal to t and uh, let's see what we get if we take u equal to t we have t minus sin a t divided by a minus if we take u equal to 0 we have 0 minus 0 sin 0 is 0 so this for lower limit there is no contribution when u equal to 0 this function becomes 0 and uh, we can take a lcm so a square into a a cube and uh, this is a t minus sin a t divided by a cube therefore we have obtained inverse laplace transform of 1 divided by a square into a square plus a square using the formula of division by s but we have to go up to 1 over s raised to 3 so now next step is inverse laplace transform of 1 divided by s cube times a square plus a square so this we can rewrite as s here and 1 divided by a square times a square plus a square we have written in the form capital F of S divided by S so that we can use that formula by the formula this is equal to integral from 0 to t L inverse of 1 divided by S square into S square plus A square integral with respect to u and we have obtained this inverse Laplace transform it is a t minus sin a t divided by a cube so we now substitute that value here a t minus sin a t divided by a cube but remember here we are using dummy variable u so we will replace t by u so instead of a t we write a u minus sin a u divided by u okay, here we are replacing t by u so a u minus sin a u divided by a cube and this we have written from equation 2 so we mention using 2 now we just have to integrate this we consider 1 by a cube outside integral of a into u is a into s u square by 2 integral of sin is minus cos negative negative positive cos a u divided by a limits of u are from 0 to t and uh, now we first put u equal to t 1 by a cube if we put u equal to t we have a into t square by 2 plus cos a t divided by a this is for upper limit minus u equal to 0 will make this term 0 minus cos 0 is 1 and divided by a and finally we can rewrite this as 1 by a cube we can write this as a t square by 2 plus 1 minus cos a t divided by a ok fine and I think this is cos a t minus 1 so here I have to right cos at minus 1 so be careful because there there are chances of doing mistake okay, here I am I had written 1 minus cos at but it is cos at minus 1 divided by a so this is the inverse Laplace transform of 1 by s cube a square plus a square this is another way of obtaining inverse Laplace transform of those type of functions which are divided by powers of s and another method for finding inverse Laplace transform of this function is method of partial fractions so if you are not going for this method 
then you have to uh, decompose your function into partial fractions in this way a divided by s plus b divided by s cube plus c b divided by s square plus c divided by s cube and uh, here d into s plus e divided by s square plus a square and you have to decide five constants a b c d and e so that is another way of doing the same problem so i have just explained you that uh, you can find out inverse laplace transform of this type of functions using this formula if our function f of s is divided by s then we simply have to integrate inverse laplace transform of capital f of s from 0 to t with respect to u so you must be able to decide inverse laplace transform of this function and limitation of this formula or method is you can apply this formula only you have whenever you have this type of situation some function of s divided by s raised to natural power of s raised to natural power or power of s is natural number so this is another way of obtaining inverse laplace transform whenever we have division by s we can remember this method as division by s also so in this way we can find out inverse laplace transform by using this method which we will remember as division by s so this is all about this session i hope you like it thank you